Hi, today we're going to be discussing what not to fix when selling a house. So the question is, when preparing to sell your house, which fixes are a waste of money? Many homeowners feel rushed to fix every little flaw, thinking it's going to boost their property value. When in fact, not every improvement will yield a significant return on investment. As a general rule, it's a good idea to focus on fixing items that will impact your home sales price. Beyond that, many, money spent on repairs and replacements may be, a, a, may be wasted since prospective buyers may not find the improvement necessary or even notice that the work was done. Buyers see flooring, walls, kitchens, and baths, and they also focus on the beautiful main living spaces. So keep this in mind when deciding where to spend your money. So here are the top three things you should not bother fixing when getting your house ready to sell. Number one, minor HVAC, electrical, and plumbing issues. While well-maintained and fully functional systems are crucial for any home, addressing minor issues in these areas before selling may not be the best use of your resources. For example, the light switch attached to nothing or the faucet that drips just a little bit before stopping. Major problems that could, major problems that could significantly impact the home's livability and safety should be fixed, but minor issues are usually better left for the buyer to handle. Number two, old appliances and windows. It's not common for many homeowners to believe that installing brand new appliances and windows make their homes more appealing to buyers. However, this is not always the case, and in most cases, these expensive upgrades do not get the return on investments as expected by the seller, and not having them rarely is a deal breaker. Number three, partial room upgrades. Giving a room a partial upgrade, it can lead to an inconsistent look and feel throughout the house, and this might even make buyers question the overall quality of the home and create doubts about the other areas that aren't improved. So here's the bottom line. You'll incur plenty of un unavoidable costs when selling a house. So it's important to keep the lid on the ones you can control. So you want your house to be in a great shape, but as counterintuitive as it sounds, not every fix is necessary when putting your house on the market. While it's important to spend the time and money ensuring your home makes a great first impression, some repairs can be skipped and, and some may even turn off the prospective buyers. We recommend that before spending a great deal of money on repairs and renovations, talk with an experienced real estate professional about the projects you should prioritize. You want your dollars to go where they'll have the most impact, garnering you the best offer, and offering the most return on your investment for the fix-ups. Again, I am Janice Harper with EXP Realty here in Charleston. If you have any questions or if I can help in any way with your real estate needs, please call, text me, or email from the information below.